Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at uh, something a little bit different, but it's still Star Wars. It's the Hero Cross, Metal Figuration, Boba Fett, and Sand Trooper. Now, Hero Cross actually contacted me and asked if I would like to review these, and I thought, man, they don't fit into my six inch scale. I, I love that scale, that's, that's perfect for me. But at the same time, it's Boba Fett and a Sand Trooper. What the hell am I supposed to do, pass on it? So they sent them along. Uh, they're my first actual figures from the Metal Figuration line. I've looked at a lot of them. I've, I've had my eye on Mickey and Donald. Uh, the Batman, Superman's kind of cute. They have Predator. Of course, they have Star Wars. They have some Transformers. I actually have Bumblebee to uh, review later. Now, as you can see from the boxes, it's just a plain black box. It's got Star Wars logo on the sides. On the back, uh, just the Star Wars logo. Names again, just like the front. And then again on the side. Nothing on bottom. Star Wars logo on top. But the cool thing about it, uh, the front is flapped. It actually has magnets inside. It snaps shut. You open it up, you can see the figure. It's the same for the Sand Trooper. You open it up, you see the figure inside. But let's see what it is inside the box. Oh, okay. There is another half to it. And it looks like the base. It's got a base with an arm on it. And actually, that's kind of cool. It's got a clamp on the end. Looks like it has stickers. Uh, yeah, it goes on the front here. Sand Trooper, and then the Imperial logo goes up on top because I don't know what that is yet. And it, oh yeah, looks to be the same with Boba Fett, except his logo is round. In fact, the whole base is a little bit different. The hook and everything. And there we go, out of the package. And you know what? As damn cute as these are, uh, they're a little bit frustrating. Uh, I kind of have a love-hate thing going on right now. Okay, I'm going to start with the Sand Trooper because between the two of them, this is the one I like more. The sculpt on this is pretty sweet. It's detailed. It's got all the right grooves. Yes, it's deformed, but I, it's, it's a sharp sculpt. And on top of that, the paint is all nice and clean where it needs to be clean. It being a Sand Trooper, yes, there's some dirt, there's some uh, sand and it looks really nice. Now this is my first time messing with these, so I didn't quite know what to expect, but the feel of the sculpted parts, uh, they've got a solid feel to them, almost like a ceramic feel. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to describe it, kind of a porcelain thing going on, but it is plastic, which the name Hybrid Metal Figuration, I would think there would be metal, and where the metal comes in is underneath. It's a metal skeleton, with uh, armor pieces over it. So this just slips on, then you can put the hand back on. While that's cool, it is fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Uh, the pieces like to twist and slide and get out of place on the skeleton. As you can see down here, this is the best place to show. On the leg, this is just on top of the metal skeleton. And then you can go up and down to kind of open up articulation or to hide articulation. It works both ways. Another thing is the shoulder pads, and this is kind of a softer plastic here. Now, the pauldron is also a separate piece jammed between the helmet and the body, and then on this side the pouches are actually sculpted, or at least attached, to that shoulder pad piece. Now on this one, because of how the helmet is, you go to turn it, it drags on these pouches. When I was taking pictures a minute ago, I got it caught a little bit, turned and it ripped the plastic up where it pegs in kind of underneath it's still there the other side hasn't ripped off there is some fragile parts to it it just feels like at any minute something's going to rip off the sand trooper less so when i get to boba fett i'll show you all the stuff on him but the sand trooper being a little bit more durable that's why i like him a little bit more you can kind of mess around with him more now articulation it does have kind of a ball going up into the head but you can't get a lot of range of movement I just broke it. I guess the backpack was glued when I went to move the head. I snapped it off. I'm actually good with the backpack off because it kind of frees me up to play around with it a little bit more. Plus you can see his back diaper. That's <laughs> The shoulders are kind of a hinge and swivel. It comes out, then it goes forward, goes back. There's a swivel in the bicep. There's a single hinge at the elbow and it comes up to about right there. A ball in the hand, but you don't get a lot of range of movement. You can swivel. Torso has a twist. The hips are hinge and swivel. You can get forward, you can get back, you can get out. And the hips, I think, are where I'm the happiest 
articulation wise it, it has the widest range of movement but as you can see with these being separate armor pieces if this slides down it looks like there's a huge gap right there so you got to remember to keep the armor pieces in place there's a single hinge knee but it only gets back about that far armor gets in the way with this you can see that it kind of falls back into neutral position it snaps to it this elbow kind of likes to do it too and then at the ankle is another fairly nice piece of articulation. It is a ball joint going into the foot, so you can get lots of side-to-side -side motion. A little bit of forward, a little bit of back. Now the hands are kind of a pain in the ass to change because when you pull the hand off, this piece of armor wants to slide off. When you go to pop another hand on, if you grab here, you're actually pushing against the hand going on. But he comes with a gripping hand with a trigger finger. Uh, for the blaster and then he comes with a longer rifle uh, because of the lack of articulation or at least the hindered articulation here he can't hold this rifle very well the stock wants to bounce off his forearm and then you put that there he can do single-handed poses pretty good and then he comes with the two open hands uh, those are kind of nice it's the most expressive so I'll probably have those on him most of the time and then in the package he came with two fists uh, fists are cool. I, they just, I, I just like the open hands more here. And then, like I showed when I opened the box, he comes with this base. I got the stickers on here. And it's very tight. And I guess that's for extra stability, just to hold him on the base. But I haven't had a problem with him falling over at all. It's at bottom heavy. Uh, it's, it has a good center of gravity. And uh, I should have no problem. So you can pull this out if you don't want the arm at all. Now, when I first opened the box, I had no idea what these pegs were for. And then it hit me. These are for the extra hands. You can just pop those on there and uh, works out pretty well. Put the weapon back there, put them on a stand. And that's not bad. I, I kind of like that. Uh, I'll have to glue the backpack back on uh, if I feel like it, I'm not sure. And just to give you an idea of the scale, here he is with Hasbro's Black Series Stormtrooper. And then we move on to Boba Fett. I love the sculpt. I, yes, I'm good with how it's deformed. It makes it different from everything else I have on the shelf. This makes an oddity that goes off to the side. An oddity in a good way because I like the look of this. Uh, the paintwork on here is nice. Uh, the sculpt, you know, that individual details like the uh, wrist rocket, uh, the pouches on the shins, the actual helmet itself, the backpack, all great sculpts. But you get to the figure itself and uh, there's some wonkiness going on and it kind of makes me mad. It's the same under skeleton as the sand trooper except in gray but where it comes into play here is Boba Fett just has a bunch of crap hanging off of him. That's just how the design is. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff to pack into one figure. So based on that the articulation here is way more hindered than even the sand trooper. You can't get much elbow even when you push this shoulder piece up you can't get much more than that. Because of how the pants come up, it even affects the hips a little bit. You don't get as much hip movement. And then he does have the Wookiee braids or Padawan braids or whichever history you subscribe to, but they essentially have to stay under this shirt piece or they just fall off the shoulder. So they're pretty much hidden. You can just see them sticking out about the belt. And the shirt here is kind of, uh, I don't know, it doesn't want to stay closed. You come around to the backpack, Again, nice sculpt. I like the colors here, but when I was fiddling around with it uh, when I first got him out of the box, I broke the rocket off. It has been glued back on. Uh, it's solid, but again, it's just one of those fragile things. Also, whenever you try to get any head movement out of them, there is a ball going up into the head, but it, there's no movement here. You can swivel, but if you get too crazy, it comes off. But while I have his helmet off right here, uh, his rangefinder, it does come down. That's a neat little uh, add-on there. Now, I won't go over the articulation because it's the same as the Sand Trooper. It's just a lot more stuck, and it, and it kind of makes me mad. But he looks good standing there. Now, he does come with uh, two sets of trigger fingers, left and right. The two sets of open hands that I have on him now, I like that on him because it's the most expressive, again, like the Sand Trooper. And then he comes with two fists right out of the package. And then he comes with his blaster. Nice sculpt. I like the paintwork on here. It is a bit rubbery. And the other problem is... It doesn't go in his hand very well. I'm not sure if his thumb is supposed to go over, but when I try to jam this into the hand, the hand being so hard and the gun being so soft, it doesn't go in right. 
gets all bent out of shape. So I'm not sure if that was on purpose. In case you unscrew this, it takes three AAA batteries. And uh, the only thing in my house that takes AAA batteries are remotes. And I didn't have any extra batteries. So the kids are about to come in here and yell at me because I took the batteries out of all the remotes. But you put it in, you turn it on, and it's got a nice glow to it. And you put it down, you put it on, and it's not bad. It kind of lights them up. Uh, I guess it's cool, but I wish the switch was kind of on the side. Now, there is a hidden hole on top. It's got a like a door on it. You turn it upside down, flips open, and there is the hole for the uh, stand itself. If you want them extra stable on the shelf, I, I guess this is for that. Or you can use it for flying if you hook this up under his backpack a little bit. It does hold him up in the air. But... I haven't had a problem with him standing whatsoever. It's nice and bottom heavy. At the end of the day, I do like these figures look-wise. Uh, something about the Star Wars mixed with Precious Moments just does it for me. I'm from the South. Uh, precious Moments was a thing there for a while. My grandma and uh, several other relatives always had it on the shelves. They were always going out and buying them. So on top of the Star Wars being nostalgic for me, <laughs> to a degree, so is the Precious Moments look of these. Great sculpt, great paint. I can appreciate those things. But f as figures, I I don't really like them. Uh, they're fiddly. They snap back into neutral positions. Uh, you try to move too much, the armor gets all turned around, or the pants, or the arm, the gauntlets, the shoulder pads, whatever. It's... I, I don't like to mess around too much with things. I just like to kick it into a pose, put it on the shelf, and done. Or pull it back off the shelf, fiddle around with it some more, pick some more poses, put it back on the shelf. Take it in the bathtub. Those aren't those kind of figures. They are just purely display figures. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, in that capacity, these will go on the shelf, away from my other 6-inch stuff. So, if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh. This is okay. The Stormtrooper, I love the model kit, but with all the extra stuff on it and it being not as flexible, not a rubbery plastic, it doesn't get out of the way, I don't like it as much because it hinders the helmet, it hinders the arms. So I may just pull all that stuff off and just have this as a, you know, a plain Stormtrooper to go along with my other one since I never ordered other ones.